Yo, what it do? It's your boy Sidney Tarver, former NFL player, now entrepreneur, generating millions of dollars in revenue in the supply chain, logistics field, trucking field, man. That's what I'm doing. Form from NFL, entrepreneur. That's the journey we on. But yeah, let's get it, man. You know we up and at it. 8, 15, 28 degrees on Sunday morning. I'm headed to yoga. Yoga at 8, 30, headed to yoga to get flexible, get my thoughts together. Sunday's usually a day I like to like just chill. I might work out and do little things like that, but I like to chill, relax, get prepared for my week, study, lounge, lay on the couch, just chill, nap, kind of rest, recover, relax, get my mind back right, kind of do whatever I want to. I try to leave Sundays open to me to just do what I need to do, not like have any planned or scheduled activities, but I love going to yoga and things like that to get my mind right for the week that's heading to come, man. So that's what we on. We just on the way to yoga at 8.30 up early, get the peace of mind, and that's how we start this day today. Let's get it. I like being up around these times because the road clear. I get clear thoughts and clear mind. You see, there ain't nothing but the snow out, man. Just your thoughts. Everybody inside, chilling, sleep with the heat on somewhere. That mean you moving at the right times when the road clear, man. You taking the roads less traveled. That's how you look at it when the streets is empty. You taking the road less traveled. You doing something that the majority don't want to be doing. They don't want to be up at this time. It's the time to rest, relax, and do something. But I'm taking some self-care, some mental care, taking care of my mind with this yoga class. I need it. I probably ain't been to yoga in two, three weeks. So I know this is going to be a fun day yoga. I never be mad after leaving a yoga class. Only good vibe. And that's what we about to get into, man. Snow, yoga in the snow. He not on the snow day. It's white on the ground everywhere. The Bills game today, Bills versus the Dolphins. It's gonna be lit. Get a good mind, body, and spirit yoga session in. You feel me? And that's just what it is. It probably ain't gonna be crowded today too because the snow out, you know how it go. I know my mat ain't folding up the right way. But yeah, we on our way to yoga. Tops got the music blasting today. But yeah, that's the yoga mat. Believe it or not, this mat costs like $100. They got me for that one, though. I ain't gonna care. But if you buy the other kind, it'd be slipping, so. I just got out the yoga. Not that yoga. Got a peace of mind. I be in yoga, relaxed, about to fall asleep, snoring, all that. That's what it do. Good for the mind, body, and spirit. Now about to start my day and see what we getting into. I think I'm finna go to the gym, though. Need to get a little sweaty in there. Well, nah, we gonna see what's going on, though. But go get in yoga if you haven't. The day and age of making excuses is over with. You can't even hang around no people. Like if they say it's snowing or whatever it is, rain and snowing, why they can't do something? Get rid of them people about your life. You don't need that kind of negativity in your life. People always making excuses. Get away from the excuse makers in your life. They holding you back. I don't care if there's no rain. I got on Birkenstocks. I'm still out here. My sock probably just got wet for real, but not for real though, but yeah. Don't let no excuses or your circumstances. Don't be no victim of excuses and circumstances. And that's just what I wanted to let y'all know right there. Hey, guys. Fit checked right now, man. I don't know. Just all right. Target jacket. Sweatsuit. I thought we was hitting the gym today, but probably crashed that. Uggs. You know what it is. We comfy fit. It's like 35 degrees out here, man. In the middle of the Niagara. We're going to take you on a journey. We're going to compare Amazon versus Target, Amazon versus Walmart, Amazon. This series we got coming for you is going to really bring you some insight into logistics, supply chain, retail, all kind of markets. Let's get it. Today, I want to talk about Amazon versus Target. Who you got? We about to go inside Target and see if you like shopping better at Target or Amazon. We're going to compare some things, compare some business models, and let you know inside the both business models. And ultimately, I'm going to let you know which one I got. Target versus Amazon, Amazon versus Target. Who going to win? Let me know down in the comments which one your favorite store, why, what you like to do with them. Come along as we go in and check it out. Let's get it. Amazon, I don't have to fight through this traffic, dodge pallets over here. But in Target, I get to feel the material and try it on. But sometimes convenience, I don't always have time to come out to the store. I'm a business owner. I might have to be with the trucks or something. So I don't have time to come out and actually feel with Amazon, it kind of knows your sizes, knows everything, recommends you stuff that you need so you can get on there and find it. And it's easy to return. Target's easy to return, but with how I move, I wouldn't come to Target too often unless it's, I really need it right away. Um, if I could think ahead, I'm going to order it off of Amazon. I just ordered some toilet paper off of Amazon. I'm about to run out of toilet paper. I just ordered some more off of there. So I don't got to jump over clothes, fall. In this category, I got Amazon because 
I don't have to deal with people. I don't have to deal with messes. I don't have to search through. I can literally, it's going to say out of stock. It's going to say exactly what I need. Do they got my size or not? Instead of coming through here, wasting time, digging through here, dealing with people coming outside, exposing myself. I might get into a fight over a t-shirt. Like I don't have to deal with that online just behind my browser. Look, it's just sloppy all over here. I don't want to dig through this kind of stuff. I'm pretty dirty already. Yeah, it's unlimited on the internet. It's definitely not, it's definitely limited, but you can get this poker set down here in the pants section though. That's how I go though. So I got Amazon as far as retail inside, inside the store for clothes. So I don't have to dig through this. I like one of them suits, so I need one of them for our journey. Do you rather buy your diapers? Moms, let me know. Single moms, let me know. Or not single moms, but regular moms, any mom. Are, are the Pampers cheaper here or online? But from what I'm saying, I can get this first one we saw, 186 count. I don't know what that is, but it's $47 on Amazon. And in the store, it's $44.99 for, for less. And so this is more for less on Amazon the best seller right here. And it gets there in two days. If you think ahead of time, if you're living ahead of time, you can save $3. But if you need them immediately, you gotta come to Target. So it's just how you like to live. But if you're living in the future, you will probably order these as soon as you get down to your last two, you order them off Amazon or create a system in your life to order them ahead of time or replenish them online before I come out to the store and stop my day. You might not always have time to come out to the day, but if you have to, it's cheaper if you get it it's looking like it's cheaper if you get it here but maybe stores like sam's and wal i mean costco we'll have to do a video on that but yeah it's looking like online is winning amazon's winning in the here on the price comparison i haven't did many objects but i'm willing to bet if i did multiple objects that the price would be get beat online all day every day because it's just so many algorithms and plus more options and you don't gotta bring yeah, your kids to the store. so many options you don't gotta bring your kids to the store you don't gotta fight with your kids out here so just keep um let me know. I got Amazon in the retail on price comparison because I know they can pull the best prices offline. They scan the prices all day, every day. They got the algorithm. They got the tools. They got the AI to scan prices and compete and drop the prices. That's what Amazon's synonymously known for is getting the project and dropping the price and um, killing the competition. If Amazon's selling millions of these a day, they don't care. You know what I mean? So they, they doing volume numbers. That's just what it is. See, the store good, okay. Things like this, though. If I lose me some chargers, some headphones, I don't want to wait for that. I need them immediately because I always using headphones to talk or always got supplies and this. I will come to Target for this because it's in person. I really need it. Some kind of plug-in attachment, charger, USB-C, all that kind of stuff for my laptop. I'm coming in store to get that because I'm going to need that kind of stuff right away. Yeah, a businessman. But things like TV, I probably wouldn't buy in store maybe i don't know i've ordered many tvs and gave them away to my drivers in previous videos you can look and see tvs i might buy one last minute but i don't know i'll probably buy that in person too we went to best buy i probably would buy that in person i'm not really a tv person i'm more of an internet computer person i use my tv as an extension of the internet not as to watch cable or hulu or netflix it's literally a extension to the youtube browser to watch it big on there so i can pick what i see but this for small stuff like small convenience store like going to the gas station target walmart those are more like convenience stores like the dollar store to me i can't get it online or i need it immediately boom i'm gonna go here and get it but if i can do it in advance i'm gonna order it offline and be ahead of time but if you need you got to pay for the convenience price if you need it right now you're gonna have to pay that 69 until it gets in on amazon then you return it faction whatever alibaba price is 20 21 dollars five ten I buy so much of these from my vans and my drivers every day. I would never go in the store to buy them. I would only buy them off Amazon for the 10-pack charger because they just going to lose them and do all kind of stuff like that. Let me know, y'all. Is this jab fast or is he going to get knocked out, y'all? Let me know. Is this jab fast? Is this footwork? Does he got the Tyson footwork? Let's see his footwork first. Hold on. Yeah. Is this footwork going to get him in there to do the jab? Oh. Oh, I don't think he's going to make it out the hood. with the staring at me. Time to go. It's already time to go. Oh, shit. Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. TSA definitely will take this to the sky and break your wheel, but you will get refunded seventy nine ninety nine. How much will you get refunded? 1800 Oh, yeah. Yeah, if they break your luggage. How much was your suitcase? Probably like 18 maybe 12, 12 or 1800 Remote. I don't know. To me, remote, like eight, anywhere from eight to $1,500. It's not gonna break like you know the airport where this stuff kind of cracked. The airport will crush this if you ever tr if you travel a lot. 
I took what, I don't know, 80 something flights last year. The airport of crushed it. It changed from last year. It started over. Oh, damn. I can't feel it. I mean, I don't know how to find it. Well, it was $22,000. Yeah, like, definitely was. They started you over, though, at every year. You start over. Every day you start over. No. You can't live life off of last year's accomplishment, yesterday's accomplishment. Yeah. <laughs> when Steph Curry, you see when he's found that oh, dance. Play that nah, my finger hurt right now. My finger's still jammed up. Ooh. I can't be. Where? What oh, left you go? You you what a mouthpiece? Oral armor? <laughs> what is, they make that sound so weird. That's weird. That's you. Cutters? These used to be some good gloves. Now they in Target, though. <laughs> when you don't want to go to the Target. <laughs> it's over with. <laughs> Look at these. See? You got to stay in your budget, though. If you need some cleats, come here and get you some Pro Cats. See, I just did a commercial for them. But yeah, I wouldn't want to come through here retail. Look, I got to go through a football this to just get to my baseball in a bowl of a ramen noodles bowl just to get to the baseball. On Amazon, I just can't go. What is this? I have no I have to do all this just to get to my basketball nets. On the internet, on the internet, I have to do, I don't have to crawl through none of this. What? What is this? Why is this here in the sports section? So that's why I stay here. It's rough over here. Retail is rough. This is what you get coming to the store. It's a battle. So I only come to the stores with the power of the internet when I really have to last moment going out of town, do or die, Starbucks in here, candles. It's just a, it's just a lot. It's just a lot going on. Is this pickle bottle? I need to set them. How's this hat section over here? I'm so confused. They stole some tennis balls over here. It's just a chaos. Paper on the floor, Snickers bar. This Target is a mess. <laughs> it's an actual mess. Nah. <laughs> like, it's mess. Now the holidays, they probably don't got enough workers, man. Everybody probably quit after they the Christmas. They denied Justin from working here. Really? Well, girls just like spending money. They don't care about it. Like if you, maybe some people, it's therapeutic for them. It's their Sunday routine to come here, get groceries, get home goods and replenish that. There's nothing wrong with that, but me with my time, I'd rather spend my time getting what I need to get now. It's not the, I don't need to walk around. I don't need to go hang out. I don't need to feel, touch the products. I just need to get what I need and go home. Yeah, where you spend your time. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it, but I just got more things to do with my time than go up and down different aisles, looking, browsing, when I can do that from the comfort of my cell phone with the Amazon app go through millions of categories in five seconds of the click and it'd be in my house in two days. If I really need it, I'll come to Target or Walmart or wherever I need to. But if I don't need it and I just need to get ahead, I'm just gonna order it off my phone in two clicks, easy checkout, boom, it's gonna be in my mailbox in two days and we gone. So that's why Amazon wins. We gone. I don't gotta fight through all this. I don't gotta get, did I do that? Oh my God, thank you. That's it. I broke it. I didn't know. I don't, you don't got to break nothing? Is that you? She said I did. I don't know. Wait, wait. I, you don't got to get, I don't got to get blamed for stuff. It's time. Let's get out of here. I did that. I felt like I was so far ahead of it. <laughs>